here, so what up guys, I gotta get my crusty ass back outside to start working out because I can't be losing my gains, okay? I can't be losing my gains, I work too hard for this physique right here. As a matter of fact, I wanna make a video on what my, who's my biggest inspiration in terms of physique is. Some of you guys probably know because you guys see me in the comment section, but I'm gonna make a video explaining why and just, you know, just to have this discussion with you guys. But anyway, about to go weigh myself. I know I'm going to be about like 150. That's one thing I'm actually happy about. Because before when I stopped training like a, a good bit, I dropped below 150. Now, even though I'm not gaining much weight because I'm not eating a lot. Like yesterday, I literally only had two meals and some freaking Nutri-Grain bars. Right? Because of that, like I know I'm not going to be gaining weight. And I have to like, I have to just step my diet game up. I have to go and start buying some real food, uh, preparing real food. I can't lie, I, I get lazy. I get lazy. I, I don't even make myself like a, a bowl of rice and chicken, like some simple stuff like that. I just choose to not eat and therefore I'm not making the gains that I should be, right? But at least somehow I'm maintaining a weight above 150, which I'm happy. I'm happy about that, so. <sighs> so I just weighed myself. And it came out to 153.2. So with the camera in my hand right now saying 154.4. But it's really 153.2. See, so those are some nice numbers, bruh. Because you remember as I said, I don't even care about how much I weigh specifically. I, I don't care about the exact number. I just want to see that the average numbering is going up, right? Because usually in a week, I'll be weighing about the same thing, and in the next week, I'll be weighing about, like, you know, a pound more, and in this next week, I'll be weighing about a pound more each time, and right now, I'm weighing about 152, 153. Just like two weeks ago, I was weighing about, like, 149, 150, so... I'm happy about that. I know some of it is some fat gains, some of it is probably some water weight, but either way, at least the weight is going up, and I started weighing myself after I take a piss, because I remember the other day, I was weighing like 152, I took a piss, I went down to like, I took a piss and a dump, and I went down to like 151, so that, I'm, I'm happy about them, I'm happy about them gains still, so I'm gonna go eat, if there's anything to eat. And then go get my workout in, make these gains. Pull day, I know I've been skipping legs, but F it. I, I seriously don't care too much about legs. So I'm going to be trying a new way of editing or making these videos. Like I'm gonna try to add the B-roll footage over this footage of where I'm speaking like this. Because typically, I will make my workout, I'll record the workout, go home, put it on the computer, and then I will record the voiceover, but I hate I hate the mic on my computer that I have to use to record the voiceover. It sounds ugly. So I'm going to see if I could speak like this, right? And then add the workout clips over this clip, if that makes any sense. Because if you guys remember in my gym is hippie shit video, I put clips over when I was speaking, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to try it out here. So some of you guys were wondering why I left my job. Because I didn't explain it. I just told you guys that I quit which was for a good reason. And I guess some of you guys thought I just quit to just do YouTube or I just quit just because I didn't like the job or it was too hard, which absolutely isn't the case. I told you guys already that I did get another job, right? Which is going to pay me a lot more steadily. It's not gonna pay me as much as the personal training job, but then again, it is paying me more than the personal training job because the personal training job pays you by commission, which is the reason why I left. Now, here's the thing. When you're working as a personal trainer at a gym, it's a lot harder, in my opinion, to work at a gym as a personal trainer than doing it freelance. Because when you're working at a gym, you have to sell their packages and charge the prices that they want to charge. And people like to say, oh, sales, you should get better at sales. You know, sales, uh, it gets easier as you keep doing it. Yeah, but the thing is, is who says sales has to be within a company? Because sales could also be entrepreneurship which is what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm trying to build my own brand, build my own personal training business, right? And sales is a lot more easier because I get to offer the packages that I want to do, which is what I'm pretty much trying to do now. So basically, what would happen is, is I would go to work for about 50 hours a week, 50 plus hours a week, and I would not be able to work less hours than that until I get at least 24 hours worth of training in a week. So basically, with the probationary period, which is like every, that every job has, three months, 
by the end of three months, they want me to be training 24 hours a week. That means I basically have to get eight clients. I have to get eight clients, train them three times a week, that's 24 hours. Getting one client is hard enough. And you have to remember that there's about 10 of us, there's about 10 trainers out here that we have to share all of these potential clients with, right? So basically, if you go any given day, there's probably about two people that would even consider buying personal training for the prices that they offer. I'm not gonna say the gym and whatnot, but some of you guys know the gym already, so whatever. But the prices that they offer, you will be lucky if only two people want to buy personal training. And out of those two people, we have to share them among 10 people. And we don't even know who those two people are. So basically, this is where the first part of the job comes in. We have to do prospecting. All of us, or most of us, the ones who don't really have clients, have to walk on the floor and talk to people and try to offer them training. Or we have to call people's houses, you know, every day and annoy the hell out of them to try to get clients. And, you know, sometimes people, people answer and say, don't fucking call me. And they hang up, right? And it's, it sucks. It sucks. And until you get clients, you don't get paid. So I'm putting in 50 hours a week right not getting paid when i could be putting in 50 hours a week doing a job that pays less but at least i'm getting paid you get my point and this is the case with the job i got right i applied i was applying while i was working and i got the call the other day and i pretty much got the interview last friday and i'm basically supposed to be getting called in uh within a week or a week or two from the interview so right now it's been a week they hadn't they haven't called me back and well, it wasn't just an interview, like I got the job, I actually signed the papers, I had the job, they just had to call me in for the shift. So I had the job, I just didn't start yet, they're waiting for the right time I guess, right? And basically with the, with the personal training job, it's, there's no point in trying to put in so much work into something you don't really want to build a career in. Like I want to build a career in personal training, but I didn't want to build a career in personal training at the gym, right? Because if I were to get clients, then my hours could be all messed up because I don't really get to choose my hours as I get to do now. Like I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing personal training on the side as I work this job. Will I get a lot of clients now? I don't know. But at least I'm going to be getting that steady income and I have the option to train people on my own time in the morning before I start work. Which is so much better. It's so much better. I get to offer cheaper prices, right? And I get to make more money than I would at the gym. Right, so basically that is the reason why I left that job. For you personal trainers out there, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do not go to a gym unless you're planning on building a business there. Like, unless you're planning on building your career there. If you have, a, if you have goals and aspirations like me to do YouTube, to be sponsored one day by, you know, I guess Gymshark is like the number one, you know, sponsored company on YouTube. Uh, or you want to, you want to, what is it? Just train people on the side, like you're on your own terms. Then I highly recommend that you go for that. Like try not to settle for less. I'm telling you guys, like a lot of you guys just like to settle for less. And some of you guys probably think I'm settling for less by doing this job, but this minimum wage job. Well, it's not even minimum wage. It actually pays a bit more, but. The thing is, is I'd rather do that and have time to build my own dream than to give up on my dream, which is YouTube and everything around YouTube, like personal training, clothing and all that stuff. I'd rather do that than go and sell myself short by working a job at a gym that I'm not going to want to do for the rest of my life. And that's pretty much why I quit. I didn't quit because the job is too hard. I just quit because it's too time, it's too time consuming. And the time, I don't mind doing time consuming things because YouTube is time consuming. If you want to do YouTube, like guys, this is a full time job. If you're not willing to put in full time effort, unless you're famous or something. If you're famous, you could put out a video anytime you get a lot of views. But if you're someone like me who's trying to, who's starting from the bottom, who started with zero subscribers, zero views, and had like absolutely the shitty quality. Like look at my quality, it's nothing compared to the youtubers that you guys watch out of all the youtubers that you guys watch i probably have the shittiest quality but you guys like watching me because you guys can relate you guys can relate to being young like 20 years old you know not having much being broke loving fitness and wanting to start a youtube channel you guys can relate to me right so the thing about that is you have to be willing to put in the work this has to be something that you're passionate about and this is something you have to be patient about because some of you guys look at me saying, oh, this guy has 7,000 subs, or, you know, he doesn't do shout outs, he just do shout outs and, you know, help smaller channels, which I said I will, but just on my own terms. And people, it's, it's like people think I, I got this easily, 
but it wasn't easy, man. Like, I grinded for this, bro. I really grinded for this. I worked hard to get all of you guys to come to my channel, right? 7,000 of you guys are here now. Last year, at this time, I only had about, I had about, what, 400 of you guys here, right? So I grinded. I put in the work. Even though my quality, my quality sucked, I didn't give up. So many people told me that I was not going to be successful on here. And I don't know if some of you guys may think I'm successful. I just say I have a continuous success growing on here. And a lot of people said I was going to fail. I said, F y'all. Like, y'all are random dudes on the internet. I have people who actually support me, and I continue to grow. So, put it that way. Just put it that way. Work hard. If you work hard enough, I've never seen someone who worked their ass off and was not successful in what they were working their ass off on, right? So, yeah. Again, I quit my job because it wasn't paying me. I got a job that pays me steadily. It's going to help me take care of my kid, right? And on top of that, I'm doing personal training on the side and YouTube, right? Because I work between my job. My job has a steady uh, working hour of Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. So, therefore, before, I guess, 2 p.m., I'm going to wake up. I'm going to try to wake up at 7 to 8 p.m. 8 a.m., and try to do all my other business that time. YouTube, train people, blah, blah, blah. That's how I'm trying to build myself, right? It's the entrepreneur path, man. Some people think I'm, I'm being stupid, but you know what? I'm not going to expect other people to see my vision. And that's one thing I want you guys to recognize too. When people try to put you down or say you're not gonna be successful, even some family members or friends who may think you're not gonna be successful, don't believe them. And don't get upset at them either. Because I know you may feel offended, but just know that your vision is so big that they can't even comprehend it. But just, just letting you know, when you do achieve your goals, oh, they're so going to want to be a part of your, your dream, right? They're so going to want to be a part of the, the popping bottles in the club, sipping the martinis and margaritas. Watch, they're going to want to be a part of that. So don't get upset at them. Don't get upset at people. The ones who want to diss you and put you down, yeah, those ones, yo, F them. F them. Forget them. But the family members and stuff who don't see your vision, don't get upset at them. Just do your thing, continue grinding, and just know that if you work hard enough, you're going for the big stuff, man. You're going for the big goals. That's what you're trying to go for. You're not trying to go for mediocre, right? If I have to humble myself and work a, a general labor job, right? Freaking, you know, putting furniture together or something while I build my business, so be it. I made this little bit of money to build my business, to invest in my business, so that my business could grow, so that that could take care of me and not the minimum wage, well, not minimum wage, but not the general labor job. So yeah, I guess I hope this actually helps some of you guys out who are actually trying to, you know, become an entrepreneur. Don't settle thinking that college is going to save your ass, that your ass, I mean. College, university ain't always going to save your ass. As a matter of fact, it could actually put you in way more debt than you could possibly handle. So don't just rely on college. If you're going to go to college, make sure you're using it to your advantage. Don't go to college just because people tell you to, okay? F that crap, bro. F that. I, yo, you guys have no excuse. If I become successful, if I become successful as a 20-year-old dude who had a kid, right, who dropped out of university, dropped out of college, who was broke, working general labor job, li lives in the ghetto, ain't have shit, and can make it out of here, you guys have no excuse, bro, no excuse, Unless, and even, even there's, there's even people who are disabled, right, disabled, the one who got legs and most, uh, who are more successful than me, so it don't matter your circumstances, man, you choose your reality, right, don't let other people choose your reality, so yeah, I guess, uh, that's it, that's it, I gotta go do some some groceries because I'm not eating that well. I should be making more gains, but hey, I've been effing up, bruh. I've been effing up. I haven't been eating as much and therefore I haven't been gaining as much weight as I should be. Right? By now I should weigh a bit more. People keep saying, oh, if you go to the gym, you'll weigh more. Shut up. Shut up. I know I know what my issues are. Like it's not like it's not like I'm not gaining weight and I don't know what the issue is. So I'm happy I know what the issue is. I just have to work on it. And I also have to start getting better sleep because I know that when I go to sleep earlier and wake up earlier, I feel a lot more productive. When I go to sleep later and I wake up later, I feel like shit. Right? And like like now, today I feel crappier because I woke up at ten o'clock. I hate waking up at ten o'clock. I'd rather wake up at eight and go to bed early. Right, I feel a lot more energy, and there's like no kids outside. Right now, there's like a couple kids outside, but when you're when you wake up earlier, there's no kids outside, which is why I like more. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope the editing goes well. I hope this is a new type of way uh, of me making these videos. I hope you like this type of way of me making these bodybuilding calisthenics videos. Okay, so I'll talk to y'all next time. Done.